Growing up, and even now, whenever anyone in our lives face a hard time or a tragedy, I always thought that my parents would react differently. For my mom, it always seemed like her first reaction was to bake the family a casserole. She would make something that she thought they would enjoy, and probably would, because my mom is an amazing cook. And in her beautiful handwriting, she would write out the instructions for baking and sign it. For my dad, he would continue to live life with them. He would go hunting, fishing, or to the football game, and just talk to them. I remember my dad and I talking about this, and he explained to me why he does this. And the reason is simple. Life is still moving. Their life is still moving. My dad told me that he lives life with them, and when it's the right moment, will ask how they are really doing. My parents have lived through some really hard times, things that I couldn't imagine. And knowing my parents and knowing their story, their response to others in times of tragedy and pain is because that is what settled them during their struggle and their pain. My parents taught me a lot growing up. They taught me how to cook, how to hope, how to shoot a gun, how to have faith, how to fish, and they taught me to love. They taught me so much, and I am who I am because of them. And one of the greatest things they did for me was live their lives making sure that love was and is an action. They made love an action. I saw it when my mom would bake the casserole or when my dad would go out hunting with someone. They took love beyond letters on a page and words you say and made it something you do. We read in 1 John this, God is love. Whoever lives in love lives in God and God in them. This is how love is made complete among us so that we will have confidence on the day of judgment. In this world, we are like Jesus. There is no fear in love, but perfect love drives out fear because fear has to do with punishment. The one who fears is not made perfect in love. We love because he first loved us. The God we know and the God we serve is the God of love. He is the definition and the creator of love. Throughout Jesus' life, we see love as an action. We see more than words being spoken, and we see the healing of the blind, and the forgiving of the sinful, and the redemption of humanity. We have been called to love because God loved us first, and this community, this country, and this world needs God's love more than ever. We need to bind together as a community of believers and as a global church and love others. This world really needs godly love, not just to be a word, but to be an action. Let us come together and let us make love an action today.